Hello folks, Pete here from Ashlands Cars and today we're looking around a 2012 BMW X5. So this is a 3 litre diesel. It's a slightly unusual car this because the previous owner, in fact the only owner of this car from new, has been the Met Police. Um, so it's, it was one of their vehicles, I believe an armed response vehicle actually, in, in London. We've taken it in part exchange. It's got a slightly unusual specification the car has. It's had a few upgrades done on it though um, uh, since it's come from the police. So it went through a dealership who, who basically prepped the car for sale before I had it. Uh, and uh, it's had a few extra little bits put on it just to uh, bring it back up to sort of more of a civ civvy sort of spec. So first thing, as you look at the car now, it's on some rather nice uh, BMW alloy wheels, I believe. The, the ones on there are 19 inch wheels. Um, these are uh, new items that have been put on the car. They're not the ones that were on it um, when it was a armed response vehicle. So as you can see, it looks nice on these wheels. It does suit the car. I think originally the car was on 17 inch wheels. So this had a little upgrade on, on it. Uh, the thing I need to tell you about on this car is that the car obviously would have been liveried up when it was an armed response vehicle. So the paintwork on the car has got a few marks on it. And here you can see on this door, a couple of small dents by here and some marks here. The, the car is essentially probably the cheapest X5 of its kind that you're gonna see uh, anywhere in the UK, but obviously it has got a few marks on it um, because of its previous life. Coming around the back of it, there's a little bit of a dent by here. Again, a couple of small marks in the paintwork by here. Uh, you know nothing horrendous and actually when I stand back and look at the car I do think it looks the part especially with these wheels but you know there clearly are minor imperfections all around it so you know the car mechanically is perfect it's only done 98,000 miles so it's very low mileage in fairness for a car of this type I mean it's uh, it's nearly 10 years old and um, it's obviously had a, a, a life um, with the police force, you would expect it to have done a huge mileage. If it was a motorway car, uh, with them it would probably be on two or 300,000 miles. But because it was a Met Police, uh, because it had a, it was a specialist unit, it wouldn't have been used as much as uh, their regular fleet of X5. So the mileage on it, in fairness, is quite low for the age and the type of vehicle, especially for an ex-police force car like this. We're going to make sure this car is a lot cheaper than a normal X5, all right? First, let me explain that. But let's have a look inside it first. Now, another thing that the police versions of these actually come with cloth seats, but the dealership has put leather in the car. So it's, it's not a brand new set of leather seats, but it has got quite a nice set of leather seats, which are in very good condition. I believe they are SE spec seats on the car. Uh, obviously, it's an automatic 3 litre diesel drives absolutely beautifully and i've got full service history for it because the, the police do maintain their vehicles to an extremely high level look at that it's a lovely lovely interior on it 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 looks the part i'll jump inside in a sec because again a few very small things in here that are different to the standard spec of an x5 so i want to show you that in just a moment before we do that if i have a look in the boot which i've got, not locked that's fine it's pretty much standard the parcel shelf is missing uh split level tailgate which you always have on an x5 very strangely the cars the, the police force cars actually come with a second battery which is by there so they have twin batteries for when they're you know in auxiliary use it's all wired up to have that still in place if you want and that's like an extended panel there to put an extra battery in if you want it and uh, under here well there would have been a gun cabinet under there so where normally you have a big plastic tray, that's missing on this car because the gun cabinet would have been fixed in place. And there's a couple of bolt holes in there where it was fixed in. So a little bit unusual. Again, it doesn't really affect it because the normal boot size on the car is pretty much identical to a standard X5. But um, having a look inside the car now, Well, it's all very nice, of course. It's it's a BMW X5 at the end of the day, so very nice interior, very well put together, uh, and really good quality. And what I have got on this car, and the main thing from my point of view is, 
that I've got a new oh, uh, MOT until March, but we'll get a new one put on it. There were no advisories on it last year. I've got a full service history here from Babcocks, who are the uh, people that undertake the work for the Met Police. So it's got full service history. Every single penny that has been spent on this car has been put down on here. And yeah, last service on it was um, generic service 91,000 miles. And, it, it, you know, it's had 91,000 miles. It's 110,000 mile service because the car obviously, um, you know, has done a lot lower than the average mileage for the age of it. It's the average, the mileage when entering service for them was zero. So they had the car from new. MOT is February 22. I think, it, I think it might be March, actually, but there might be a misprint. But we'll put a new MOT on it for whoever has the car. So... July 2012 being the, the date of Reg. Let's start her up a second and just show you the startup sequence on the car anyway. Put the key in the belt. There we go. So. There she is. 97,557 miles. You've got the conventional system here. You have got iDrive on this car, but what I need to show you is that it has not got navigation or phone system built on it because it's police spec and they don't have that, okay? The other thing I need to show you on here is that the, the heating controls are a lot simpler than a standard X5. You normally have split climate control here, but that's the fan, that's the heating. You've got the two screens and you've got auto. That's all the heating controls that you have. The radio knob's missing, but I'll probably get one of those put on it anyway for you. It's a lot simpler inside than a normal X5. There would be a lot more buttons here for different heating um, systems on it. This hasn't got that, but it does work perfectly, and all the vents and stuff are working as they should do. It hasn't got cruise control either. So again, if you don't use cruise control, that's not going to matter one cent to you but it is something to be mindful of if, if you are someone who uses cruise because most X5s do have cruise control but the police spec ones don't because you know they don't want the police just cruising around daydreaming they need to be alert all the time so you really do drive this car but still it's, it's a 3 litre diesel it's got X drive 4x4 it's also got the, uh, the auto with sport mode on it and of course a manual change on it as well if you flick that over to the to the left hand side so really good system gearboxes on these are lovely you put it into drive by plugging back up for reverse and you just press p on it to park it's a really simple system it works really well and i love it so electric handbrake on the car as well and it has got the hill start assist it's got the hold on it as well that has so that's nice so as you can see a very nice system front and rear sensors on it as well all fully working so when I'm driving along now, I'd have my uh, a visual and an acoustic aid to the front and rear parking sensors on the car. So it's got a bit of spec on it, but it hasn't got every single thing that I would have on a normal BMW X5 with the SE spec. So just to be mindful of that. Um, right, before further ado, let's just run outside the car quickly and show you one more time outside. Overall, a really nice car. Hasn't got tint in the back, this one, if you notice as well. But another thing that's just slightly different from a normal X5 is that it hasn't got tint in the back, only on the very rear, because they didn't want to see in the guns. I'm sure it's had quite a life, this car, in fairness, in London. I'm sure it's probably seen a few stories, but it's quite an honest vehicle. It uh, doesn't look like it's had any actual paintwork done on it at all. The marks that are on it are more from how, where they've taken the stickers off. Uh, which have to obviously come off the car than they are um, from actual damage. A couple of very small dents at the back, but to be honest with you, you'd see that on a 10 year old car anyway. So, if it's of interest to you guys, it's obviously priced to sell. It's as good as any X5 I've ever driven. My number is 07932 873 646. That's 07. 932-873-646. I've bought a few of these ex-police vehicles before. They've always been really good. Uh, they are maintained to an exceptionally high level. So give us a call if it's of interest to you. We're happy to take part exchange. We're happy to 
arrange delivery anywhere in the country for you. And of course, while you're here, please give us a like, share and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and more updates from us on vehicles we have for sale. Feel free to comment below as well. I mean, let us know if you perhaps have had a X-Forces car yourself. Um, my experience of them and certainly the experience I've had from customers who've bought them in the past have been they've always been very, very good cars because they're mechanically very, very well looked after to a much higher standard than any motorist would look after their car normally. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope that's of interest to you and have a great day.